Well, many of you will sit down at the dinner table with plenty to eat this Thanksgiving, and that is wonderful. But much of that wouldn't be possible without the work of those who grow the food that you put on your table. Calvin Reynolds joins us in Tuscaloosa, where a tradition that recognizes the efforts of farmers is growing stronger. Calvin, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Janice. No, the week of Thanksgiving is also recognized in the Tuscaloosa area as Farm City Week. And one aspect of this week is when one local community group chooses someone here to be its Farmer of the Year. Well, the Tuscaloosa Kiwanis Club organized this year's Farm City Week luncheon. And that was held recently at the Tuscaloosa River Market. And one goal of Farm City Week is to highlight the importance of cooperation between rural and urban residents to improve the quality of life for all in their communities. Now that's one reason organizers also choose a local farmer to be the Farmer of the Year. Well, the Tuscaloosa County Farmer of the Year for 2023 is Forrest Wiggins Jr. Now he's a third generation row crop farmer who grows corn, soybean, uh, cotton and more in Foster's. A Wiggins admits that farming is far from an easy business, but he's happy to follow in his father's footsteps as a farmer and also as the Tuscaloosa County Farmer of the Year. There's just not many of us left out anymore, so being a young farmer is tough right now. I mean, we had a good year, but got dry in the summer and we needed some more rain, but everything right now is turned out pretty good. It's just a stressful job. You got to rely on the weather for everything. Oh, it's an honor. Uh, I watched my dad do it in 2003, so I always figured I wanted to be that kind of guy. So. Well, the Kiwanis Club of Tuscaloosa is actually a recognized a farmer of the year in this area for 70 years. Live in Tuscaloosa, Kelvin Reynolds, WBRC. Fox 6 News on your side.